Hey guys, it's Ryan here with uh, Our Indiana Home uh, here in uh, beautiful uh, Bloomington, Indiana, Monroe County. Um, and uh, today I'm going to talk about pruning your trees for a, a nice canopy, but also something that's uh, somewhat functional that you're able to enjoy walking under and, and mowing under without getting clotheslined and scratched and, uh, and, and kind of, you know, stopped in that process being uh, inefficient with your your tractor or your mower. So uh, anyway, I want to take a good look at uh, kind of just some things I look for today uh, when kind of deciding, you know, when and what and how much to prune off. Um, so looking forward to showing you what we're going to do. So one of the things I want to talk about what to use uh, to prune. And so um, I went and made some new purchases, uh, spent maybe a little bit more money than I'm used to spending and went with the Fiskars brand. And uh, so lots of different things you can use. So one of the things I liked about Fiskars was it has a lifetime warranty. Um, and I think just has a little bit better quality. I went from a little more of a professional type of a tool um, than I typically have in the past. And so I'm going to put a link to these uh, down in the notes. And again, remember, I'm never going to recommend anything to you that I'm not using. So uh, always can stand by that. So the first tool I want to show you is just a Fiskars uh, handheld bypass pruning shear. Uh, this should cut up to about an inch in diameter and <clears throat> depends on how green or dry the wood might be and how strong your grip might be, but recommended to be about, about an inch and under. Um, so you can get a nice little close up look of this guys. And just got a little clip there to kind of keep them open and closed. And they kind of spring open um, really nice. Um, so that's our first tool we're taking a look at. So second tool we're working with today is a extendable power level lopper. Um, so, you know, for something that's a little bit bigger, it's recommended to about an inch and three quarters. So just under uh, a couple inches there. Um, and so, uh, you know, looks like a set of uh, typical loppers here, but they are extendable. Um, so they got these clips here on the handles, which are really nice. Uh, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, they're going to be able to extend your reach. So you're going to be able to reach and trim um, a lot higher uh, than you would um, without the extending. And then, you know, just kind of the physics of it. The length of the handle is going to make... Uh, you know your the power that you have to to cut something a little bit better. So uh, again, really like this set here, and um, again, lifetime warranty with Fiskars. So the last tool that we've got is uh, really just a, a basic uh, bow saw. So again, there's going to be a few things that um, you're just not going to be able to to do with a with a pair of pruning shears or or loppers and um, so having a saw that you can use um, just to kind of get in there and use your hands and you know cut something off. So imagine we're going to need to use all three of these uh, probably to do uh, what I want to get done here in a second. Let me see if I can't get this off. Turns out the safety uh, on the safety blade there. Um, it's a real nice job. And you can replace this blade too. Um, they're only a couple bucks. So I went ahead and bought an extra while I was at the store. Um, so kind of really like that as well. So again, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of work here, uh, kind of show you why we're doing what we're doing, and then hopefully you can kind of see the change that it made. Okay. So like I said, one of the things I like is just a nice, a nice canopy. So some of that's just some aesthetic uh, look. Um, remember when you're going to start pruning something it's kind of like cutting hair you can't put it back on so it's okay to start small and kind of work your way to something bigger if you're just not quite sure what you want to do uh, something that i like to take a look at is really kind of what's going to happen over time so if i've got a branch that's growing down it's going to keep growing down and so the situation is going to continue to get a little bit worse Sometimes if you take some weight of it uh, off, which would you know, take a significant branch off, the, the weight of that actually might bring uh, everything back up a little bit, and so the tree would maybe grow a little more kind of up and out than it would down. So what I'm going to do here, just to start, I mean, you can see if I just took this guy off here, which this is our lowest one, and if I just kind of reached up there and 
and took that off, which is great. Uh, maybe raises up a little bit, and that's pretty helpful. Uh, but I still feel like we're pretty low. And I'm really not sure how far back I want to kind of keep taking this off. But uh, again, you can kind of see what's going on here. Everything's continuing to continue to be low there. So I'm just going to reach up here and take a little more off of this. Um, and if you can maybe come up and see where I'm going to make the cut. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to just cut right out here in the middle. I want to get it up to where that next limb starting to come out. And you can see I didn't really, you know, at one point here, I thought I might take this all the way off back here. Um, but that really elevated it just by taking the weight off of it. Hey, Dick. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. So I wasn't expecting that to raise all the way up just by cutting that little branch. Um, so I like it right now. I can mow under it. I can walk under it. It looks good. And, you know, as this tree keeps growing, hopefully it keeps growing. Um, I'll need to probably trim some of that up. But for now, again, the things I talked about, it worked out. All right, this thing over here, come on, follow me here. I'm not real sure what I want to do. Come underneath so you can see here. Um, I'm not real sure what I want to do with this one because it goes all the way back up to there. And I could get up there, use that, you know, hand saw, cut that off. Uh, but again, it's like cutting hair. You know, you can always, you can't put it back on, but you can always take more off. And so I don't know that if I trim what I need to off of this, if it's going to raise up. I don't know that that's going to happen, but I'll just uh, take little bits off of it and see. turned out a little bit better than I thought so when I first looked at it I thought I might need to cut it all the way back up there but uh, I was able to take enough off that was hanging down and again as we talked about the weight's going to bring it back up and uh, I think for now this meets my needs you know I can leave more of the tree here which looks good got this nice canopy I can walk under it and I can mow under it so pretty happy with that um, let's take a look at this one here behind us and see what we want to do about it Again, it's it's growing pretty much down um, at an angle there, if you can kind of see that. And so, again, trying to figure out how far up and how far back I want to take this down. And I think what I'm going to do is probably come all the way up here to where this branch starts to come off of it. Because I just feel like it's just going to kind of straight down, and I think the weight of that's really going to kind of spring it up there. So, let's see what happens here. And there you can see it's way up there now, and it's going to continue to, uh, you know, keep growing and, and not be in our way. So uh, probably just a little bit more work to do, you know, under this big beech tree. And uh, go ahead and get a look at, uh, what do we call this tree? Ancient. The ancient beech. What does Jake call the tree? I don't know. Squid tree. Uh, so, yeah, this is squid tree. It's an old, old beech tree, probably 100 years old or so. And... Uh, it's uh, it's seen its better days, but we're giving it a little bit new life here, and so we can mow. So I've got a few ornamental trees here. Uh, as we know from previous uh, YouTube videos we've put out, this is a dogwood tree, not a red bud. Um, and I think with your ornamental trees, you want to be maybe not so much concerned about the canopy. A little more of the functionality but just kind of the, the the beauty of the tree so i'm a little more careful to take more off uh, with these and so uh these uh dogwood trees the only thing i'm really going to take down there's a little bit of dead and you know dead wood's really a place for insects and bugs and things to kind of get in the tree and and you know start kind of doing some disease and damage to those and so i'm just going to take a little bit of that out um so if you want to kind of take a peek over here and see if we get just a little bit of dead going on here um, with this tree, and so I'm just going to take some of that stuff out.
go. All right, so for this uh, tree here, I'm not sure if anyone knows what this is. Uh, we're not sure yet, just to get a little close up. Probably maybe do a little one of these uh, ID apps and see if you can kind of tell from the leaves uh, what we've got going on here. But uh, it looks like it's bloomed previously. So if you know what that is, uh, shoot us up in the comments so we know. So again, this thing's a bear to drive under. Um, and um, I think what I'm going to do is just take down one of these. And this one right here, you can see the base uh, not looking so great. And um, it, it, it's rubbing up against another part of the tree, uh, which isn't necessarily super healthy. And almost all of that is this little mess right here that's just super hard to kind of you'd even have a hard time pushing on under that so i think i'm going to take that down if you had a chainsaw uh, which i do i'd be easy pretty easy to do but i'm going to go ahead and use the handsaw for those of you that may not have a chainsaw Uh, it's a little more work than a lot of shape, but uh, breathing hard. So got that done to looking real nice. I'm going to probably just do a little bit of hand trimming. Um, take care of that. Just going to show you the finished product. Take a little bit of dead out of it. Maybe just trim up a few of these lower ones and hopefully we have something nice to look at. It's also easy to kind of get around. Well, I think we figured out it's a hibiscus tree or rose of Sharon. Uh, which should be pretty beautiful at some point. So uh, it's kind of cleaned up now, uh, which you'll be able to see here in a second. So uh, anyway, thanks for joining us. You learned a little bit about kind of uh, some of the different tools you can use to prune, um, how you might take a you know shorter approach and then kind of see what happens without just cutting everything off all at once. Um, with the uh, rows of share, and I left a little more than I would to kind of mow under, but we'll put up with that because it's beautiful. And uh, hit like, hit subscribe, uh, ring the bell, as the kids say, all those things. Thanks for joining us again. We're, we're humbled that um, you'd have some, spend a little bit of time here with us uh, in our hometown, uh, Bloomington, Indiana, our Indiana home here. And I'm going to go do some mowing now without getting the clothesline. Thanks.